Hey friends, what's up? It's Ivy here today. Today I have another fashion video for you guys. As you can already tell by the title, it's going to be a styling hack video for petite girls. I am petite in both ways, so I am 5 foot 3, quite small, and it doesn't help that I'm kind of on the slimmer side. Being petite in the small kind of way and also the slimmer kind of way makes me look 12 at times, and it's very, very hard sometimes to choose nice clothing to wear without me looking like I'm still prepubescent. I'm going to be 23 in like two weeks time and sometimes I still feel like literally a decade younger in the things that I wear. So I have done a few tips and tricks along the way of styling journey since I was young and like what works best for me as a small girl and a small girl. So let's just go straight into the video. That was really lame, ew. So we are starting off with the first tip being showing more leg and yes I know how scandalous that sounds and I really don't mean it the way that it sounds but I'll show you when the clips come up. So as you can see here I'm wearing a long midi skirt and it looks quite long it's kind of drowning out my figure especially in this long sleeve top. I feel as though wearing a short skirt such as this white midi skirt actually makes such a difference and you can already see here in these side by side comparisons that you can definitely see more of your figure in this short skirt already and you can definitely see more height. The second tip that I have is always pairing a bulky item, whether it's pants or a top, with a tight item. Never wearing bulky and bulky together as I find that it really, again, drowns out your figure. As a short person, you pretty much drown in fabric, especially when you're wearing bulky and bulky items. So I feel as though going for the more tighter option, whether it be the top or bottom, like I said before, will definitely be more flattering to your figure. The third tip I have is always tucking in. This is a big tip of mine for any person really, whether you are short or not short at all. I just find that tucking in your clothes is just so much more flattering and always gives off a cleaner look for sure. I guess focusing on little details such as this really gives off more of a well put together look as well as that depending on the top rolling up your sleeves and maybe even like scooping the shirt a little bit to the side to make a off shoulder kind of look such as within this sweater definitely adds more to this look as opposed to when you throw over a shirt over yourself and just leave it as it is. The fourth tip that I have is adding a belt to everything. This is such an essential tip for me. I have this gigantic jumpsuit, which I absolutely love. It's a size 4, but it's from Country Road and just don't even talk to me about country road sizing it's really really messed up um so pretty much like it's huge on me and while i really really like it it just like it doesn't fit well on my body whereas i feel like when i add a belt to it, it really just molds so much better to my body it really makes the outfit look so much more wearable without me looking 12 years old and i'm playing dress ups with my mom's clothes as you can see i do this trick with a lot of my other clothes i've done it in so many of my previous other videos i show so many different styles in which i always add a belt to my outfit and really Really cinch in the waist. The fifth tip that I have is when you're buying a maxi skirt or a maxi dress, always buy one with the split in it. I feel as though when you have a maxi skirt that's just one length and no split, you just look really, really short. You pretty much just drown in the material. When you have a split, again, just like the very first tip, just show a little bit more leg and it just shows like there's a little bit more of you, I guess, if that makes any sense. The sixth tip that I have is the type of jeans that you wear. When I wear low rise jeans I don't really have that much of a butt and whatever's left of a butt is just so like not there I look like an absolute pancake and as well as that whenever I try to pull them up just because I want them to sit a bit more higher in my waist I always end up getting a freaking camel toe don't ask me why it's the science of the jeans so therefore I opt to always wear high-waisted jeans I think it's just the fact that like more material is higher up on your body and it just it just looks way better <laughs> The seventh tip that I have is a winter layering tip. Obviously, it's quite unavoidable to not layer items in the winter. You eventually end up looking quite bulky and kind of like a little ball. But to avoid looking less like a big ball, but more like a lump of a human, try layering less bulky items. So rather than a bulky knit sweater and then a bulky cardigan, try starting your layers off with more thinner items such as this crop top and then a thin turtleneck such as this one that I thrifted. And tuck 
tucking it in completely just like my fourth step is actually quite slimming especially on petite girls and then from then on you add your sweater on top of that but also again tucking it in because again you don't want to look that bulky and when you're layering on top for your final layer rather than layering a bulky cardigan wearing a slim fitted blazer on top just to have that more slimming kind of effect The eighth tip that I have, and it's so, so damn basic, is rolling up the bottom of your jeans. This just works wonders for me as a person and my shortness. I like to roll up my jeans like maybe two, three times, depending on the type of pants, for good measure. And not even just my jeans. I like to roll up a lot of my other pants, my tailored pants, whatever is too long for me. And the ninth and final tip that I have is always cropping your top. I just feel like when you wear a basic plain top, you just end up drowning in the fabric. Such as this one. This is more of a shorter shirt, but it just doesn't look that flattering to me. And I just feel like I definitely look 12 in this outfit. But when I it and roll it up at the bottom and then roll up the sleeves it definitely looks like more of a fitted shirt on my body as opposed to wearing again these baggy jeans as you can see the difference you can definitely see more of my figure the second kind of top that I have here is more of a longer top I am in love with sport shirts like these but sometimes I find them very difficult to style and to wear so with this top so you can still see the print and the logo at the front I'm doing the same thing that I did to the other shirt but rolling it, it in the back that way it looks like a cute little crop top and you can still see the print on the front while at the same time you don't necessarily draw in fabric And finally, the top that I'm going to crop is this Country Road singlet top that I have. It's a quite luxurious velvet cami. As it is quite a luxurious velvet cami, you can imagine that I don't want to be tying it up with just a random scrunchie. So, I like to tuck in the front bits under my bra and just making sure that it's holding to the position that I want it to. So it looks quite cropped and you can still see my waist. Those are my styling tips. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all like it and follow me on Instagram if you'd like to. Have a nice day. Goodbye. 